And welcome back to this week's Who Win. Again, first of the month, first of the new year. So we got to get into a Sternritter fight. And with the Sternritter fight, we are going, as again, to explain these, um, uh, to explain the Sternritters again, I always got to preface this anytime someone's new watching this video. Uh, in the manga Bleach, there are individuals, humans called Sternritters, Quincy's, who, well, okay, there's individuals called Quincy's who use spiritual energy for weaponries and fighting evil spirits, basically. Uh, there's a group select group called the Sternritters. And those stern riders all had an ability corresponding to a letter of the alphabet. So, but because the leader, being the strongest, was letter A, I decided to start in reverse. So we went, started with Z. We've currently moved to O, and that belongs to Driscoll Bert Bercy Ber Berkey <laughs> B E R C I uh, Bercy Bersai. I'll go with Bersai. Bersai Ber doesn't sound bad. Yeah, Driscoll Bersai. Uh, who is Sturmritter O, the overkill. Now, Sturmritter O did not make a huge appearance. He was not, it was not, he didn't have, he had like, he was, showed up in two chapters of the, uh, of the series, I believe. Yeah, that's exactly, I technically showed up in more. Basically, and for the record, no, I'm not using the fact he stole someone's Bankai, um, as we're only going with his abilities. Uh, but his ability, oh, uh, uh, is is the overkill, which means the st more he kills, the stronger he becomes. It doesn't matter who he kills. Just as long as he's killing, he will become stronger. Uh, now, I don't know if this is permanent. It's implied that it is a permanent kind of uh, thing going on. It doesn't, like, disappear after a while. So the greater, the more he kills, the greater, the stronger he becomes. It's simple as that. He has the basic Quincy abilities, like here in Kaiku, which is, uh, here in Kaiku, which is, I believe, the super speed ability. Uh, Retso Tengai, you know, using spirit threads to make himself move when he can't, can't uh, when he needs to, if he can't move on his own. Um, and uh, and using spiritual weapons like bows and arrows. So uh, that being said, that being said, his spiritual arrows are not sorry. Star Trek. Uh, what five is on and i'll admit i don't hate star trek five star trek five's actually got a lot of good moments to it um so his spiritual uh bows are um not like normal bow and arrows like which most quincy's are it's like you know well bow and arrow no his basically are like giant lances he can skewer people on the he killed like the lieutenant of the first division opening that uh, in the opening of the arc uh and he just skewered him on a wall they are huge. So, yeah, and he's got a very sadistic, brutal personality that goes along with that. So, with that being said, who did I pick to go up? Well, obviously, you know who I picked to go up against him, but why did I pick that? Well, I because he's the overkill, I couldn't pick a single... I didn't want to pick a single opponent because he, he's not going to get any stronger with his ability. So, it would be a moot point to have him go up against one single individual. So, I had to think... All right, then, what, so like a group of individuals, characters, I, uh, who, who exactly? I'm one, I'm just trying to wonder. Um, uh, uh, then, then, and then I thought to myself, an army, some sort of army, and then I didn't, for some reason, the Golden Army from Hellboy, the, the uh, uh, Golden Army. That's an interesting kind of combination right there. I thought, I'm like, that's kind of cool. So, yeah, we do, we're paying Driscoll of Versailles uh, against uh, uh, against the Golden Army from Hellboy, the Golden Army. Now, the Golden Army was forged by the Goblins for the Elf King uh, way long ago. In fact, let me let me get the Golden Army up real quick. Just, to, just so I get an actual correct history. Golden Army. Ooh. Golden. Ooh, that's not how you spell golden. Golden Army. There we go. The Golden Army. Golden Army, Hellboy. There we go. So the Golden Army was it was a unstoppable force. A, 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 the unstoppable force was a clockwork army of 70 times 70 men or 4,900 soldiers. Far larger and stronger than a human. They repel, repaired themselves from damage and were effectively indestructible. Now, that's a key word in this, effectively indestructible. The army can be controlled by members of base. So, essentially, they are going to be... Um, the, the, technically, it, he's fighting someone controlling the Golden Army. He's not fighting... He's fighting the Golden Army, but he's fighting against the person controlling them as well. 
Now, there, again, they're roughly somewhere in the neighborhood of, like, 10 feet tall, huge clockwork monstrosities with blades and shields and stuff like that. They can be torn apart and disassembled, but they will reform because they're magical. So they are effectively indestructible, as they put it. That said, we never saw them, like, truly, like, parts of them, like, be truly incinerated or anything like that. So I would imagine if you could actually, like, com like really destroy a part of the body, like, if... if tear an arm off or like actually break a finger and then just like morph and deform it or something like that melt it down i theorize you could destroy them the question becomes do, can you do that can you do that they're magical base so if they can it would be difficult so how does this fight break down let's say it's prince Nawada. uh prince of is like oh i wish we'll take over and he takes over the world but the quincy also trying to do it so driscoll's like oh, i'm going first and then just fires one of his uh high flinders arrows uh, arrow spears and just takes out what, uh, like a bunch of the Ar golden army right off the bat technically killing them and technically getting stronger i suppose so he's just like ah, and then he just starts run just starts you know smashing through them just ah, ah. now they these guys come in he's a big dude too not quite seven foot uh, like ten foot tall like they are but he's a tall dude uh, he's like seven foot or something like that so, you know, they'll crash in. He's physically strong. He's got, like, braces on his hands that he can, you know, crush in and start beating things up. But then he notices that the things that he just destroyed are not dead. So he's not getting the overkill effect. And now he's like, I was like, what? And the reform is like, you? And then starts suddenly just starts really charging him up and just, you know, pure energy blasts all over the place. And I would actually, I would be willing to bet that Given the right uh, power or energy or something like that, yes, you could inc like incinerate or you know just completely obliterate actually parts of there. Like the headpiece, for instance, you could like literally just destroy the headpiece, like not just tear it off and have the headpiece be there, but like actually destroy the headpiece. And if that happens, because we never saw that happen, I would be I would be willing to lean towards the idea that they could be killed. Theoretically speaking, however, that would take a lot of effort, I imagine, because they have to—they must be highly durable. Nawada, remember, Prince Nawada wanted to get the Golden Army to take over the world and kill human humanity off, knowing that we live in a world because he even took reasons like for shopping malls or for mini malls, parking lots, all that. So he knows about the modern world. So he knows he believes that these this army was strong enough to take on a world that had. Nuclear weapons. Um, if they are strong enough to do that, that's going to take a lot of power to take these guys out. Then again, maybe he's just not under, maybe he's not aware of how the true capability of nuclear weapons. So maybe he's not truly capable of that understanding of that power. But all that being said, it's still I was still willing to bet that if you could muster up enough power, then yes, you could theoretically take it take them down and take them out so let's assume now that he's able to start taking a couple of them out now it's taken him a while to muster the strength to do so like the, just his base strength and mustering up but he's able to start taking them out a little bit and because they're now dying he's getting the power boost from them. so it's exponential but there's so many of them that he he can only take on so many even with uh, like power boosts he can only take on so many so and then let's see let's even paint a scenario where he does have uh shojiro's bankai Summons lightning. Lightning, I don't think would beat them. Um, I don't. I mean, it would definitely affect them a little bit and maybe break them down for a while, but it's not strong enough to beat them um, because he couldn't use that bankai effectively. So he, yes, he's gonna he's gonna start taking that. He's gonna realize I'm gonna start aiming for their heads, just smashing their head, ripping them off. Just you know, just uh, after, and you know, he's just gonna keep getting stronger from that. But the problem is that's four thousand nine hundred individuals he's got to take out. Can he take that many out? Well, here's the thing. Worst case scenario, he can kind of just go stand up in the sky for a little bit and be like, whew, I need, I need a breather. How many did I break? How many did I kill? Only a hundred out of, uh, oh, oh God. Uh, oh, 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 you, oh God. Oh, is, uh, you watch this, I like, guess. It's like, no, no, God, whatever. So, yeah, that's, that's going to be... Here's the thing. He will get stronger, no doubt, but he, even he will get tired after. No matter if you're getting stronger, you still uh, – your stamina, all that, will increase, sure. 
but you're still using that stamina up considerably. So after, I imagine even he would get, even if he's getting stronger, he'd get gassed after a while. So now the question is, at what point does he get gassed out? Um, particularly because it's going to take him, he, he's probably not always going to hit the lethal, like get the lethal shot on him. So when he does hit them, they're just going to reform again. So how long, if, I would, I'll give him the benefit of the doubt, like as he's getting stronger and getting more and more hits on, or tickling more and more of them, that he, he, maybe he can get through about a thousand of them before he really starts to tie, like just, just fatigued, just, uh, it's like, I'm stronger. It's like, this is, this is like, this is both getting easier and getting tougher. I'm like, oh man. <laughs> so I imagine like at best, like it, maybe there'd be a thousand left before he's eventually just winded. <laughs> just eventually like, look, I have gotten so much stronger, but at the same time, I need a moment just to catch my breath here. <laughs> um, and I think eventually, yeah, I do think the golden army would overrun him in the long term. Uh, just because he'd be so tired, I think, long, again, long term use. Again, it's weird to say that as he's getting stronger, he's still getting tired. But if everything is getting increased, it wouldn't matter because he's still got a factor and he's got to get actual lethal hits on these guys. And given his personality, I'm certain he would focus on that a little bit, but he also would not, um, um, uh, he wouldn't be straight out just always focusing on um, uh, always focusing on that. So I I I don't know. I I sorry. There's a preview or something going on right now. I I have no idea what this is. It's Evil Dead or something? Oh, it's a cougar in a bloody mask. Oh, it is evil. Oh, it is Ash versus the Evil Dead. Interesting. <laughs> he's fighting a demonic mascot also interesting um anywho so yeah i uh i i think that the golden army does beat him overall but i i would be willing to say that driscoll at the same time would stand it all right i think i'd go 20 80 20 in favor of the golden army i think the golden army would eventually um eventually take him out but i think there's a 20 percent chance where he where he does um where he does come out on top uh just just from long term you know battle and fighting and all that and just getting constantly stronger now here's a question for you if he constantly got stronger, do you think he power wise would eventually be stronger than uh you walk i don't think so because gremmy was not stronger than you walk but who knows maybe he would maybe he wouldn't uh, but yeah, let me know if you think differently. If you do, put in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, share, subscribe. As always, if you want to review something, put in the comments below. Let us know. We'll do a review of it at some point. I do who would win. Star Wars, Superhero, Magic, What If, anything I do in the channel, put in the comments below. Let me know. I'll get to it at some point. I do who would win. Star Wars, Superhero, Magic, anything I do in the channel, put that in the comments below. Um, because of the snow, so I live in New England. I live in New Massachusetts. So because we're getting a lot of snow starting around midnight and going all the way into Friday, yeah, I believe the governor actually declared kind of a state of emergency, so don't go out on the road. So I don't think I'm going to have work tomorrow. So if I don't, I may. I'll have magic first off. Um, and I might even do a what ifs. Obviously, I'm not going to go catch a movie because I can't go out on the roads. But, uh, and I don't think anything would be open anyway. Uh, it's, even if I could go out on the road, I, it's, it's a little difficult. Um... But Molly's game, I will catch sometime over the next weekend. Uh, so thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time.